Alright, what's going on dudes? Welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. I feel like every time I say the title it has to be in a super dramatic fashion. It can't just be, welcome back to Ultra Modded Survival. It has to be Ultra Modded Survival in a world that's super mega ultra. One man must modded survival. So I made a mistake. A little, little tiny mistake. Actually, let's not kid ourselves. It's a pretty significant, one might even say colossal mistake. So I'm used to extra biomes being the mod from Hexit that adds a bunch of new biomes into the game. And the way that mod works is you have it installed, you load up a world, and you get a whole bunch of new biomes. I figured biomes of plenty would work in the same fashion. Turns out it doesn't, and you actually have to specify that you want a biomes of plenty world type in the more options screen when you're creating a new world. And I didn't know that, and therefore I didn't do that for this world. So this world is just a normal old Minecraft biome world. So if you look around, it does look pretty normal. And I figured, I don't know, maybe we just ended up in a regular old biome area. But the problem is, that's not the case. But that's okay. We're only on episode two. The only blocks we place down of any significance are a workbench and a furnace. So we're gonna take our inventory, we're gonna take our morphs, we're gonna take Jerry's tree, and we're just gonna tiptoe, migrate on over to a, a Biomes of Plenty world type, as if nothing had ever happened. And I think you'll be very pleased to see what a Biomes of Plenty world actually looks like, because it's pretty spectacular. I actually prefer it to extra biomes by uh, a lot. So that's what we're gonna do, not a big deal. Not a big deal, just a little mistake that uh, we're gonna fix here. So I'm gonna cut, and in just a second, we'll be over in a new world, and we can put this silly mistake behind us and continue on with ultra modded survival. All right, welcome everyone to our new starting point with Biomes of Plenty up and running. I think you'll find it's, it's pretty spectacular. Check out this forest with Jerry's tree right in its own little lake. It's kind of awesome. Okay, okay, I'm trying to introduce everyone to our new world here and you're just interrupting. I think I'm gonna have to take care of you for that. Sorry, I mean, you're not the first of your kind that I've taken out, what can I say? But anyway, that's a, ooh, rainbow ant, that's pretty cool. Do I wanna take it out? I, it's, not, it's not hostile. I'll leave the nice little rainbow ant be. So I've got my inventory, I've got my morphs, I've got Jerry's tree, we're good to go. Let's continue on, let's, let's explore this, this really freaking awesome environment that we have here. What should we do? Should we just walk on through the, it's like a mushroom forest kind of dealio? It's like a mushroom biome in a forest. Uh, are you angry? No, you are peaceful. Okay, hi Mr. Lizard, how are you doing? You look pretty fancy, he is a lizard from the Orspawn mod. Hi there, mushrooms. Apparently they can spawn in this biome. Look, the sky is like changing and stuff as we walk on through here. And then if we walk back out, does it change again? Oh yeah, it goes back to being like blue and stuff. That's pretty cool. So the sky changes when you go into different biomes. All right, let's explore. As I said, we're gonna try to find another home base. Oh wait, totally forgot before I do that. Um, I was told that I should actually, rather than writing down coordinates, I should make waypoints on the minimap. So how do I do that? Do I press uh, w or M to access the map and no oh, that what the heck did I just do? Whoa, this must be Galacticraft stuff. Um, all right, that's pretty cool. That's really cool actually. Uh, can I like pan around on this? Um, whoa, I can't see the moon on here, but okay, anyway, that's for a later date. That's not something we'll concern ourselves with at the moment. Okay, we're good. I just press B and it brings up the waypoint menu. So waypoint name is Jerry's tree and enabled on in the overworld. Cool, I think we're good. Yeah, and green, that makes sense. I want Jerry's tree to be a green marker on the map. And done. And then make a fart noise. Cool. <laughs> well, we got a waypoint. Jerry's tree, awesome. Um, I don't know if that big beam thing is gonna be visible for as far as I walk out and hopefully the the notification there will disappear. All right, let's test it out. We'll walk farther away, see if anything changes. Eventually, we're gonna have to add like a, a bridge or something just so we can get to the, 
to Jerry or like a lily pad bridge or something just so we can get to the get to Jerry's tree easier okay does it disappear does it just okay that's gonna be obnoxious please disappear please disappear please disappear eventually let's explore and please disappear okay it's cool I just had a key binding conflict that wouldn't let me access the mini map settings normally the the key for that is M that's what I I accessed the uh, Galacticraft map with so I changed the key binding and now if I go in here I changed it so it's not displaying the, the waypoint in game it only shows it on the map so we're good to go let's explore at long last <laughs> enough with uh, enough with the troubleshooting should I take out mushrooms I don't know about that that sounds a little bit sounds a little bit mean I should uh, respect the sanctity of their their biome and whoa freaking volcano over here that's awesome let's check this out we want to make Volcano our base? now. we probably want to move, like, farther away. It's like moving to another state or something away from Jerry's Tree, which, again, it's a bit bittersweet, but Jerry's Tree would always go back to his vacation home. It'll be cool. What are you? Hello? Hello, Dryad. You're friendly. If I right-click on you, do you do anything? Do you want food? Dryad from Ars Magica 2. Nope. No idea what you do. Cool. Well, I'm not going to hurt you. Not going to hurt you now. Check out the freaking volcano. Oh, man. Some cool stuff. Whoa. Oh, God. It's going to burn down the forest. Uh, basalt from Project Red. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look at Jerry's tree over there above the forest. Man. Biomes of Plenty is the best. This is awesome. Aren't you glad we switched? It's pretty cool. Okay. So, I don't know. Let's, uh, where do we want to continue on through? Let's continue on through the forest or something like that. Let's see, where do we want to go? I'm going to actually need to grab some uh, some more food pretty soon here. Nice, you got glasses on. How's it going? <laughs> um, hello, zombie. Hello, zombie. Oh, so uh, what I was told to do is I need to find a bat. And sadly, I need to kill it because if we find a bat, then with the morph mod, we can actually fly. And that's going to be super useful. So that's going to be our goal here is we're gonna try to find a sacrificial bat. Um, but for now, actually, let me uh, let me smelt some more food. It's probably gonna be a good idea. Real quick here, put a couple of coal in there and it's probably actually gonna get, uh, it's probably gonna get dark here pretty soon because I've been dilly-dallying around uh, much of the day. Oh, you're probably wondering why I'm in, uh, in, the, in cheat mode rather than recipe mode again. Something really weird, I don't know why this is happening, but if I look 96 pages in my, uh, in my inventory list of, of items, um, if I go into recipe mode, all of a sudden, goes to 91, and then, give it a second, 81. Somehow, 15 pages of items are eliminated when I go into recipe mode. And I'm not sure if that has an impact or not on the game, but I'd rather play it safe than sorry. So I'm going to stay there just to ensure that all items are present. Don't worry, I can still hit R and find recipes. I'm not going to give myself items. Um, but, oh god, it's going to get dark real soon. Once again, we'll have to spend another night out here. Oh, jeez. Going to be sketchy. I should, uh, I should find a sheep as well. Let me... Um, can I make some shears and then that way I'll be able to find some wood pretty quickly make a bed um, And hopefully survive the nights past them a little bit more quickly um, All right, come on furnace do your work our inventory is also filling up Can I throw out anything that is really unnecessary at the moment? Yes, I can um, I do want to keep string. I don't want to keep gravel nor dirt Marble might be cool, although it seems pretty uh, pretty easy to come by. Bamboo shoot, zombie brain, those are pretty plentiful as well. So, oh god, we're just being surrounded by mobs on all sides. It's okay, it's okay, let's just wait for the food to smelt. We have some golden apples. Oh, we also have some, uh, some raw beef, didn't even remember that. There we go. Keep the fire stoked. And I could actually make another furnace to accelerate this process. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? Perhaps I do have my workbench here and I do have a bunch of extra cobblestone. So let me just do that real quick Speed this thing up and place you down put another piece of coal in there and actually is that gonna be a huge waste? Um, that was a waste because <laughs> obviously it's not gonna smelt if I Don't give it a chance to so all right cool Smelt away, furnace. Don't don't mind me over here. All you mobs, I'm just a, a peaceful wayward traveler. 
making myself some food. I mean you no harm. Oh, apparently you think I mean you harm, and that's not very nice of you at all. Not very nice of you at all. Oh, look, we have an ant on the ground. There was an ant. I don't know where the ant went. Whatever, look at the... That's what you get. You get blood. You get dismembered. You get... Okay. Oh, wait. If I... Hold on. Do we have the, uh... Wait, 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 we can talk about this. Hold on, let me morph into one of your kind. It'll be cool. It'll be great, I promise. Watch, wait, okay. You're making me wear out my sword. It's not very cool. So, if I morph into a zombie, you won't pay attention to me, right? No, you can't. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's just zombies that'll know I'm not a real zombie, but the other hostile mobs, they should be deceived. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, why? Oh, man, I need... Hey, ants, how's it going? That ant just... He jumped instead of crawling up. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, okay, well, I guess I need to put in one more piece of coal. I know I'm, I'm not using it in the most efficient fashion, but oh well. It is what it is. I should have taken advantage of that furnace, but I would have had to put in another. Okay, zombies. I promise I'm one of you. I know the axe not fool at anyone. Uh, maybe I should turn into a spider because it seems like zombies are the ones who are most... Okay, guys, there are just a ridiculous... Why is it only zombies? How many walked away? Not interested. Oh, he got scared of the other zombie with a hat. Hold on. What if I go spider? You don't. You don't care. No, you don't care. It's cool. It's cool. They do. Oh my God. They still know. They still. How do they still know? God dang it, guys! Stop it. Leave me alone. Oh, they all know. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Give me just a second. I don't like being this low to the ground. At least not in grass. Okay, I'm not fooling anyone. Especially not spiders. I'm not fooling anyone. Oh god, they're everywhere. Let me grab my stuff and run. I'm gonna have to abandon the furnace. I can't get it. Can't get it now. All right, we are. Oh my god, look at the minimap. There are so many. So many. So many. So many. So many. So many. Let's get out of the forest. Whoa, you have an angel thing riding your back. That's pretty crazy. Uh, let's just go over here or something. I might not have wanted to go in the water because now a skeleton is going to make my life miserable. Oh, please. Oh, what do we have over here? We have ore spawn stuff that I want to get. If I have any open inventory space. All right, creeper, it's cool. It's cool. Just trying to fetch some stuff over here. You cool? Just blow up in the water? We good. Yeah. What's this? What's this? Uh, ancient dry chicken. <laughs> well, I can create... Uh, I looked into this. The way it works is that... Um, I basically can add water to one of those blocks in uh, in my workbench screen, and it'll actually give me a spawn egg of that type of animal. So that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, let's see. Wait, why didn't I um, why didn't I get a creeper morph there? That's weird. What gives? What gives? Am I not getting uh, Am I not getting new morphs? Come on, give me a break. One sec. We gotta find a guinea pig to, to make. No, not you. I, st I have both of you. Um, let's see. Oh, what are you? Mana element. Ow, you're zapping me. That's not nice. Ow. You're. Ars Magica, but you're doing the Thomcraft Wisp zap. Oh, it's cool. We, we cool. We're cool. We're cool. We got that morph. We got that morph. We're doing fine. Um, but the chunks are being slow to load because they're super intensive with biomes of plenty. Uh, okay, so. Where are we? going to I guess we'll just keep on going through the forest we are on an expedition to try to find a new home base I don't think the home base will be made in this particular biome as cool as it is uh, what is this ancient dried chicken yeah pretty cool I want chickens um, as cool as this biome is I think we will try to find some more and, uh, and take a look at all of what this world has to offer before we settle on one particular location. If you catch my, uh, if you catch my drift. Alright, come on. This can't be just like a never-ending biome. Okay, I think I see the end of it over here. Yeah? We good? Aha! We have made it to the end of the spooky forest. Here we are. Cool! Alright, so now we're out in the open. Hopefully we won't have to worry about as many mobs. Do we want to go for a mining expedition? Possibly. Possibly. Hmm. I mean, that's a possibility, I guess. Let's check. Let's check my morphs. I'm wondering why I don't have a... Can I not morph into a creeper? Hmm? Is that what it is? I don't know. That's weird. When I killed a, a creeper, apparently I don't get the morph for it. Whatever. Maybe it's not a... Oh! Sheep! I need you! I need your wool! 
please allow me to acquire it in a non-violent manner. I'm a nice, I'm a nice guy. There, wool, wool. Oh, give me all your wool. I know you're going to be a little bit cold, but it's okay. It's, it's all for the best. It's all for the best. Promise. All right. So now we can make a bed. We can sleep off the night. We're going to be good. To, oh, I had to abandon my workbench. God dang it. All right. Let's make another one. Let's make another one. We're fine. Boom. And make a bed. Where is our wool? Right there. Sweet. Bed. Oh, man. Took long enough. There we go. Uh, oh, god dang it. Don't do this to me. Ow. Oh, god. I replaced the sword in my inventory with the bed. Please spare me. Okay, much better. Now, take that out. Uh, let's collect it once more. Place our bed down if possible. And can we sleep it off? Can we sleep it off? We can. Ooh, good, good, good. You'll notice it was raining earlier, and I, I made it stop raining because it was obnoxious. Hence the uh, the toggle downfall, which didn't work for some reason, and the weather clear. Okie dokie. So here we go. Let us continue on in this direction now that it's clear, and we shouldn't have to worry about all of these things trying to kill us. Uh, except you, maybe. Maybe you might still be trying to kill us. <laughs> anyway, and there are a lot of caves, but I, I still want to like keep exploring the biomes, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I should go down into a cave and, and start checking things out. That could be a worthwhile plan. Let's do it. Let's go caving. Do I need to, should I make myself any, uh, any armor beforehand, or should I wait until I actually get down in here before that? No, let's see. Let's go into the cave first. We'll get some more resources, and then from there, uh, we can create a game. But God dang it, guys. God dang it. Oh, you have an arrow through your head. That's ironic. It's extremely ironic. All right, get out of here. Hat unlocked, arrowhead. Oh, right, if I take out a mob that has a, it's wearing a hat, then I, I get the hat in return. So that's pretty cool. Ancient dried scorpion. Ooh, that's fancy. Um, I'm going to need to make a new iron sword, I think. And possibly some more torches if I can find some, uh, some coal to mine. So let's try to do that. What is that? Uh, modular force field. All I want to do is find some iron. If uh, you would be so kind as to give me some of that game, that'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool. What's this? Uh, Sirtis Quartz Ore. Oh my god, I, I can't even begin to like collect all this stuff. I should probably just focus for now on getting things that will uh, help me stay alive as far as weapons, armor, etc, etc. And then we can focus more on, on getting the fancier stuff as time goes by. Um, once we've sort of created a, a home base, which we still have yet to find a location for. Okay, let's mine out some of this. And actually, I should get some more wood so I can make more torches. And that way you guys can see what's going on. Here's my iron pickaxe as well. What is that? Ancient dried scorpion. More of those. It's cool. Um, although, I don't know. We could we could test it on. Do we have a, one of the ore spawn things at the moment? We have an ancient dried mushroom. We could, we could try it on the ancient dried mushroom. I would have to... Uh, I'd have to make a bucket and then, does this even, does this cave even go down anywhere? Oh yes it does, it would appear that it does. Fancy that, let me get some more coal. Cool, 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 boom. Keep harvesting the stuff and then I'll go and grab some wood pretty quickly and that should uh, shed some light on the subject. Okie dokie, here we go, a little bit more, and that should be plenty, I think, for now. How many is that? That is 43. That'll give us a, a good bit of torches to uh, play around with. Okay, cool. Let me get some wood real quick. Boom, and should I make an axe? Nah, I don't need an axe. I can just punch it with my fist. Get some oak wood from the super cool florist thing. I don't know. I don't know what this biome is actually called. I wonder if I hit F3, if it'll tell me. Let's see, it is Fungi Forest. Whew, cool. That's the place we're in. It's not a redwood forest, it's a fungi forest. <laughs> and, all right, that should be enough wood to make a bunch of planks, to make a bunch of, what the heck? Ow, what the? Jeez, that's not very nice, ant. You should, uh, you should pick on someone your own size, like another ant. 
Um, where did my wood go? Where did the... Oh, it's all, it's all there. I wasn't able to collect any of it. Haha. -ha. Six wood. Hey. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Ants. Are they all evil? <laughs> that wouldn't be very nice. Um, 28. And we'll take half of that and divide it in half. And we'll make a bunch of torches. Cool. That'll do. That'll do. So should we make maybe like a, a temporary outpost here or something? That could be a good plan. Temporary outpost. And then we'll we'll get some resources here. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so put a bed down here. Let's put a uh, workbench down as well. Temporary outpost time. And put down our furnace, which actually, do we want to take the with I don't know. And then we'll make a chest. Cool. Put our chest down. Check it out, man. It's a temporary outpost. Pretty cool. Is that a... Has more Galactocraft copper. Okay, so let's throw the stuff in the chest that we uh, want to get rid of for now. And actually, we're going to want to take our food supply with us. And all right, it's cool. 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 We're good. We'll play around with the, uh, the ore spawn thing later on, I guess. But for now, let's just focus on what is important to our survival. No, we don't want to throw that in there. Cool. Okay, I think that will do for now. Now we can focus on just collecting things that are uh, good for us. All right. So let's go into the mine and not die, hopefully. Let me make another sword, actually. And another iron pickaxe. Probably a good idea. So that we don't run out of uh, resources when we get down there. And some more coal. One second, one second, so let's see, um, I'm gonna wanna grab wood out of here, make some more sticks, and make another iron pickaxe, and make another iron sword for our protection. All right, cool. I think we're good to go on that. Boom. Back into the mine. Let's journey on in. And some zombie is getting owned by fire. Nice job, sir. <laughs> Congratulations. I didn't even see this area. This seems like it goes down even farther. Does it? Does it lead it? Ooh, it leads into a nice cave system with lava and fanciness. That's actually kind of dangerous. Probably not going to mess around with that over there. But what we can do is shed some light on the subjects of tin ore from thermal expansion. I mean, I guess iron is, is worthwhile at the moment. If I mine every ore I find, I'm probably just going to fill out my inventory super quickly. So, I'm going to try to... What is this? Ancient dried Mothra spawn egg? I think that's the giant moth thing, so we're going to get that. And there's another one. Oh, uranium. Is that rare? Probably not that rare if it's that close to the surface. Sorry, I just said I wasn't going to focus on, on mining out everything I saw, and then I started mining out everything I saw. I'm good at this. I'm real good at this. Uh, well, let's hope I don't... Lose my way and jump. Oh god, I missed. I missed. I missed. But it's okay. We can just work our way on back up. Ooh, ooh, a cave high above the ground over here. That probably leads back to the surface. Yes, it. Ooh, wait. What? Am, what is this? Order infused stone. It's all like glowy and. Whoa. What did that give me? Oh, it gives you the the shards. That's cool. Apparently, <laughs> I I was under the impression that the shards are like super rare from. From Skyden, apparently they're not very rare at all, but that's okay. Not a big deal. I'm sure my understanding of Thomcraft will change. What? What? Oh! Ow! 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 Stop it! What are you doing there? Ow! Oh! Oh! I thought that was the creeper that was hurting me. It was the, it was the stupid firebush thing. Uh, cinnabar or let me just keep putting down torches. So many new materials to explore. I haven't the faintest idea what most of them do. So much learning to be done. Maybe we can find diamonds, though. Diamonds are not going to be as easy to come by this time because we do not have the uh, the good old Hexit surface diamonds to uh, to find, unfortunately. I can't remember what mod that was that, that gave those to us. But, uh, but no matter. No matter. Gives a little bit more of a challenge. We can keep working our way down into the caves. And uh, eventually we'll make some iron armor. See you later, bud. See you later. Okay, Mr. Skell. Oh, God. Oh, no. Heck it. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We can't die this early. We can't die. We can't die this early. Please. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. 
Oh god, I should put the uh, golden apples in a quicker inventory access spot. God dang it, guys. Just give me one, well, give me a break here, give me a break here. Uh, do we want to continue on down, maybe? Yeah, that'll be safer. Continue down underground even further. They, they said it'll be fun. They said, what are you going to do to me? What are you going to do to me? You're draining. He must, oh, oh, he sends out like an EMP pulse. He must like drain your mana or something when that comes into play. But since I don't have any mana and I, I have no idea how to get mana, it probably doesn't matter for us at the moment. So fortunately, we don't have to worry about them uh, now. But later on, they'll probably be annoying, I would imagine. Okay, so come on. It takes way too long to mine stuff when you're in water. Uh, what are you? A rock hive? Can I right click on you? I probably don't want to destroy that. I'm probably going to get a bunch of angry bees attacking me and that's going to not be a good thing. I would think. <laughs> okay. Oh no. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake and I'm going to mine my way up and not... Okay. Not go up the waterfall. Water, I combined water flow and waterfall into one word. Water flow. Water flow. Okay, here we go. Much better. Much better. Let's just keep getting iron. And I guess we can focus on a suit of armor for now. I still have no idea what that stuff does. Alright, there we go. Much better. Cool, cool. Maybe we should go this way. No, we shouldn't go that way. That would be a bad idea. That <laughs> would be a... Terribly, terribly bad for my health idea, I must say. With that many uh, zombies over there. This is, a, this is a nice cave system and all. But I don't feel like dying. Ancient dried wither boss? What? We can just spawn the wither like that. Just right here. Right now. Just combine it with water. We'll get a wither boss spawn egg and we can just spawn the wither. Hey. what? That's, that's pretty cool. Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, I think I'm just going to head up for now. And in the next episode, we will go ahead, we'll make a suit of armor, and we'll try to explore a little bit more thoroughly. So for now, thank you guys very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, a rating would be much appreciated. Other than that, um, I'm going to work my way back up to the surface, and we'll see you in the next episode.